Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a application launcher called Rofi. Rofi is kind of a minimalist but highly configurable application launcher, a uh, run command uh, program if you will, uh, from their GitHub page here at Dave Davenport slash Rofi. Let's see, it is a Windows Switcher application launcher and D menu replacement. And it's, it mentions D menu several times on its uh, GitHub page here. What is D menu? D menu has been around for a number of years. It's another run command program. I've actually got it installed. This is my main machine I'm recording today. This is an open box session inside Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. And I have D menu here in my open box menu. Watch what happens to the bottom panel when I click D menu here. This is D menu now. It is its own separate program. It's on top of my panel. It's not part of the panel. It's its own separate program. It's just covering up the tent 2 panel I had at the bottom of the screen. And from here, we could start typing. Say I wanted to type or open up the LeafPad text editor. I start typing L, and you see it starts trying to figure out what program I'm after. And as I type, you know, it figures out LeafPad was what I was after. It's even highlighted over here. So if I click enter right now, it's going to launch LeafPad, so I don't even have to type the full name of the program. That's D menu. D menu is pretty cool. What about Rofi? Well, Rofi is a lot more configurable than D menu ever was. Rofi has extended features, like it has an application launcher, of course. It also has an SSH launcher. It can act as a drop in D menu replacement. It's also configurable. Uh, with external scripts. I've never played around using external scripts in Rofi, but it does have that capability. But I'm sitting here talking about Rofi. I haven't showed you what Rofi is, so I'm going to right click on my desktop here to open my open box window. And I've got Rofi in my menu here. Let me click on it. And this is the Rofi application launcher. Right now I could start typing and say I wanted to launch LeafPad again. L E A F, you know it figures out LeafPad was what I was after after about three or four letters. Click enter. There's LeafPad. Typically you would use you know these minimalist uh, application launchers, run command programs on desktop environments or window managers that don't already have such a functionality built in. For example, OpenBox uh, really doesn't have any kind of run command program built into it. Uh, not with the kind of features of something like D menu or Rofi. So, you know, for minimal window managers like Openbox, Fluxbox, Joe's window manager, or any tiling window manager. Tiling window managers, many of them do not come with any kind of run command program. An external program like Rofi is great for those. You set them to a key binding. For example, I have my Rofi application launcher key to super key plus enter on my keyboard. All I have to do is that and I have my application launcher. I start typing something, you know, Firefox for example, hit enter. There I go. So if my hands are already on the keyboard and I want to launch a program, I don't have to bother right clicking on the desktop and searching through a menu. Uh, or if it's a program I don't use very often, you know, if it's a program I use all the time, I may even have it hotkeyed. Like I use my terminal all the time. I've already got it hotkeyed with control alt T. You know, so I don't even have to worry about the menu or the Rofi application launcher. Uh, I also have, you know, my file manager mapped to super key plus one because you're always in the file manager, right? But for those, you know, programs you don't live in very often, and you're not really even sure if it's in your open box menu, say, or you wouldn't know where you put it in the open box menu, you simply launch Rofi. Again, I've got it mapped to super enter on my keyboard, and I just start typing for whatever program I'm after. So htop. There's htop. Now, according to their GitHub page, there's more you can do with Rofi. I mean, other than just launching desktop applications, you can do other uh, shell commands, uh, SSH commands, uh, also window switchers. So I have my Rofi set up for all of that. So let me open my Rofi again. Now, you see in mine I've got app. Now this is all the applications that I can launch that exists with a, a desktop application launcher, right? that, you know, the ones that end in dot .desktop, you know, and user share applications, whatever that folder is where all your dot .desktop files here uh, live. This is what those are. 
Alright, so if I hit control tab on my keyboard, now I go to this window screen here. And this is all the programs I currently have open. You know, I you only see GUVC view, right? I actually have several other things open. I have a triple monitor set up. I have Firefox running over here, and that's why Firefox is in the menu. I also have simple screen recorder and another instance of GUVC view on this screen over here. Uh, so that is the window switcher. I hit control tab again. Here is the shell. Now we can launch any command, including shell commands, which shell commands don't have a dot desktop file, so they don't appear in that first, you know, app menu that I had. Those are only prop proper uh, desktop applications, so no, you know, like bash commands or anything, but the shell command, you can launch any program. I could still launch things like LeafPad and Firefox, but you can also run any kind of uh, terminal command you want in this shell prompt. And I hit control tab one more time. Here is the SSH menu, and it has Derek at 10.0.0.6. Uh, Derek is my username on my home computer, and I occasionally do SSH from this machine into others and from others into this machine. Control tab again gets me back to the first uh, screen here, the app screen. Rofi comes with a, a variety of themes installed out of the box. Uh, it is the program is called Rofi dash theme dash selector if you want to launch it from a terminal I actually have it already in one of my open box menus here where it is the Rofi theme selector alright and it launches Rofi but this is a Rofi screen here just designed to change the theme so you see it has a list of themes here I just the first one that's highlighted is the Adapta Nocto theme by PyGeek03. Uh, if I hit enter right now, that is what the Adapta Nocto theme is. I can scroll down the list here. You know, I can go, to, well, let me go back up. The second one, this is the Android notification theme. Then we got the Arc theme. We got Author. We got Blue. C64. And so on and so on. Groovebox, Groovebox Dark. Some of the more interesting ones in the list. Uh, I like this paper theme. You know, for those of you that like a lighter theme. Sidebar here is an interesting theme. Uh, you know, it puts it on the the left side of the screen, almost as a, a panel. Um, I would probably do that on the right side of the screen, especially for those of you that love to run those left-hand docs, such as in Unity, the GNOME shell. A lot of people are even putting their docs and panels on the left side of the screen and things like SFCE and KDE these days. Uh, Solarize. This is a solarized color scheme here in Rofi. So that's pretty cool. Let me escape out of that. I actually didn't save any of that, so my original theme that I use is it's still active so you guys running you know some of the big robust desktop environments like GNOME, Unity, KDE you know you guys really already have built-in uh, program launchers and run command programs built into those desktop environments usually you hit the super key in, in those desktop environments you know your command line comes up you know in the uh, Unity dash and all that and you just start typing and go you really don't have to have a program like Rofi on those desktop environments but those of you that live in more minimalist uh, window managers and desktop environments such as again things like Openbox, Fluxbox, Joe's window manager the dozens of tiling window managers out there like i3, xmonad, qtile you know all that stuff awesome window manager Rofi is a lifesaver. It really makes a lot of sense. Check it out, guys. Peace.